Welcome to this conversation with our host today, Professor Dr. Peter Zek, founder and CEO of the Red Dot Design Award, and his distinguished guest, Petteri Maselin, Creative Design Lead at Fiskars in Finland. Petteri, congratulations to you and your design team on winning the international accolade of Red Dot Design Team of the Year 2020. Thank you, and it's amazing. <laughs> great, great, great. I am Michael Thompson of Design Connect London. Um, if I may just take a moment for a few words, I think it's worth reminding our viewers that the Red Dot Design Team of the Year Award is unique, it's distinctive, in that the accolade is given not to an individual alone, but to the whole design team and its leader. And a leader can do nothing of value without a great team, and a team needs a leader. So this award, uniquely in the world, in the design award landscape, uh, recognises and acknowledges the symbiosis between this leadership and the successful team that is needed to create fantastic outcomes. In this case, the award-winning products of Fiskars. If I may, I'd like to say a few words about Fiskars again for our viewers. Established in 1649 as an ironworks in a small Finnish village, uh, Fiskars has grown to be a leading global supplier of consumer products. And it is the oldest company still operating in Finland. And in fact, I think uh, for the same year, there are only six companies in the world that still exist today. And I think two of them are in Germany and one of them is in Japan. Yes. So in 1967, a mere 318 years later, Fiskars launched the first pair of universal design scissors on the market, which with its ergonomic plastic bright orange handles quickly became a hallmark of the Fiskars brand. And in fact, over a billion units of those have been sold by the time uh, you joined the company. Today, Fiskars designs and produces many different kinds of scissors, in addition to garden appliances, frying pans, kitchen knives, axes, and watering systems. And Fiskars is no stranger to Red Dot, because as uh, the first award was won in the product design category 30 years ago. Petri, if I may say a few words about you. Uh, you trained as an industrial designer in Lahti, which is about 100 k <laughs> northwest of Helsinki. Um, yes. I have actually been there in the snow. And your career <laughs> saw you working as a design manager at Finnish material company Rokla, joining yes. the design steering group of Kony Cranes and sitting yes. on the board of Lati's University yes. of Applied Science. Yes. You joined Fiskars in 2010 as vice president for R&D Garden. And since then, you hold VP responsibilities for both R&D and design in the business unit functional products. And as I understand yep. it, uh, you uh, lead or creative lead for a design team of about 20 designers. So again, congratulations on winning the award, Red Dot Design Team of the Year 2020. I don't know if you've noticed, but the, the numbers of 1649 add up to 20. Yeah. There you go. Don't know what it means, but they do. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Peter, founder and CEO of Red Dot Design Award, Senator of the World Design Organization, holder of Germany's highest award, the Federal Cross of Merit, as our host today. What does it mean to Red Dot to have a company such as Fiskars participate in the Red Dot Design Award? It's a, it's a great honor and it's a great pleasure to have companies like Fiskars with Red Dot. And I remember uh, from the very beginning uh, when I started with Red Dot, Fiskars mm -hmm. is, uh, always a participant and not just a participant, they are always a successful participant. Uh, there are very, very few companies who have an awarding rate of nearly 100% and, uh, and Fiskas is one of them. Uh, and I, I, it's, it's extraordinary because they do everyday products. They're not doing uh, spectacular products like uh, luxury cars or whatever, you know, or brilliant watches. And so they doing things that we need every day. And sometimes uh, that brings us to blood, sweat and tears. Huh? Uh, when you work in your garden, it can be very hard, but the tools they produce, they help you to do this job much better and easier. So this is a big pleasure for me to have Fiskars there every year. And I'm tell you, uh, probably not a real secret, but uh, the whole Red Dot team is always looking for the incoming products of Fiskars because we are always very excited what they made new in, in, in every year. 
uh, and sometimes it's really uh, we we are uh, expecting something regular, but uh, they send in something extraordinary. Yeah, so it's it's great to have Fiskas and uh, Petri. Congratulations to yourself and your whole team. You did a marvelous job over the last hundred years, and uh, you are definitely uh, a big, big pillar of design in the world of design. Fantastic. Thank you, Peter. Petri, I thought I, I, I was going to just offer some questions to yourself and Peter uh, over the coming um, <coughs> yeah. uh, session. And I just thought I'd start off thinking about the role of the creative leader or the design director, as it were, of a team, particularly yeah. working for a global brand. And I just wondered if you'd like to talk about what in your mind sort of the critical skill set might be for a creative lead who needs their team to be able to drive forward new products with clear and distinctive voice of the brand which make the everyday extraordinary. Tell us a bit about what, what happens inside <coughs> the mind and uh, what does the experience of Petteri bring to the team? Uh, it's not only me, it's, it's, it's everybody who's working in our team and, and all of the Lindens and other ones who's working so many years in this company. Um, to say that they're going to finish design um, and, uh, is, is not going to finish design in that sense. Uh, is, you go to Japan, you find so much similar what is finished design. And you go to Germany, you see and, 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 and mentally similar. The Bauhaus in Germany and, and Japan and Finland is, is somehow going to link in my mind all my life. I study in, in German school, in Steiner school in, in, in Finland, and that is, is German school, and, and um, oh, yeah. the Institute uh, is basically, everybody loves Bauhaus, and that mentally, that you need to learn everything what you're doing. And I believe it, that same mentally is, is in here in the Fiskar, that everything what you design, you need to know how to manufacture in that. And and, yes. and whole team is, 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 is mentally that way, that, that Sami is also so here uh, is, is exactly know that she's designed something, she's really know how she's doing in handmade in that. Uh, it's not that, that, that you're using different devices, but you really understand and you know how to do in everything. And, and, and the last many, many years that Fisk has basically using that mentality, still that everybody who is in this team really know how to do in prototypes, really know how to do in using well machines and, 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 and knives and, and different things. And it's, it's mental easier. You need to know that process. Same sample that you, you design new knives, kitchen knives. You really know, need to know how the chefs use in normal using users need in this. And you really need, need to know that whole process. And I believe it's, that is going to benefit to Fiskas in, in, in 371 years at that everybody who's working here, by the way, here the Fiskas Willis Western video is coming. Everybody started in zero and learned that and, and using hands and feeling that hands, how that go into users. Okay, fantastic. And um, Peter, do you think, I mean, this seems to me to be talking about values as well. And I just wonder, do you think that design as a strategy for corporations or as for companies, um, does this res what Petri is saying? Is that resonating with you across the the variety of product sectors that you get awards from? These values that he's talking about are important. Oh yes, definitely. Uh, the first point uh, Petri made uh, about the the question of uh, is it a, a finished design or or mm. what what is it? Uh, of course. If you want to be uh, in a global market very successful, uh, you don't make any national designs. Mm -hmm. uh, you make really functional designs. And mm -hmm. uh, you know, function and usability worldwide is, is uh, uh, almost the same. You know, people always looking for good functional products and they always want to make better use out of them. But then additionally, there comes the aesthetic aspect. Uh, that makes the the seduction of the of the products and that makes the people buy them, and uh, I think uh, this kind of values Fiskars uh, unifies perfectly. Uh, all the designers in Fiskars worked 
uh, for the long time on, on this kind of design values. And uh, finally, this brings the success, not just in the world of design, but also the economical success in the world of business. Do you find, um, Petri, that talking about design values and like, qualities and characteristics of design language or design and innovation in the yep. way that your products are developing? I mean, yep. <clears throat> And talk to design teams about that? Do you find it hard to talk upwards internally to your design management about that? No. To say that the honest that the Fiscus is still a small company and, and, and one is the big thing that this is not only design part. Uh, everybody who is working in R&D is, is some kind of hybrid people. Is the dust, dust designers is small engineers and small engineers is small dust designers. Uh, and, and, and it's not only that R&D, how to work. You need to work in the factories, you need to work in the, in the brand, sales, etc., cetera, et cetera. And, and the key point is to understand the first what the users need. And that is the interesting that in, in the part that, that uh, I know that many, many, many companies using lots of money try to do to, to analyze in what people want. But in, in, in here is that more that, that everybody is so keen to learn more and, and these take more ideas in the table. Um, normally, is brutal is work that how you sell in, in, inside the company these new ideas. And I believe that is kind of hardest part normally to sell in your, 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 your ideas inside the company. It is maybe, maybe something super. And in some cases, that is taking lots of energy to sell in that idea inside the company. But um, but the same that kind of honest in that way is fantastic work in this company. That people trust everybody. I need to trust manufacturers. I need uh, trust marketing, sales, and everybody who's working in the company. This is kind of small family, in in my mind, and everybody work together, and everybody know own tasks what need to deliver to the outside. It's not only me. I need the whole process. And the team need that whole process. That is something kind of fantastic items coming to market. Is it, is it worth uh, mentioning for our viewers? Uh, you know, as a creative lead, I mean, every company is different. Uh, yep. and I know Peter has a remarkable oversight of so many companies over so many years. I myself have had the fortune to work with in-house design teams. And very often, um, in-house design teams can find it difficult to talk to the other stakeholders that they have internally in the company or within their supply networks. And I just wonder, it doesn't sound to me like that's the case at Fiskars. Like, is there something that you do? Like what explicit behavior do you have to help yourselves talk across your functional discipline boundaries? I believe is that is, for me, is that kind of, you need to trust everybody. I, in, in my colleagues, uh, Pran and everybody else. And, and, you need a difficult, by the way, difficult question because I work in other companies also, and every company is different. Uh, but but it, to, to say that, that you are honest, that you are honest and, and you trust and, and you smile. <laughs> I mean, smile and you are interested in something totally new. I believe that is the driver because you are so smiling and you want to find something new. Uh, everybody else in the organization take that same feeling and want to do the best product. And, and that is hard. And it's taking years to, to, to build in this kind of trust in different companies. But to, to, to say it that way, that I don't know how I did that, do it, or how I do it, a whole, whole team doing that. But I smile and I, every time I go to work. This is my work where I'm, by the way, now. And it is forest and it is meeting rooms and in, in, in different places. But you need to love that work. If you don't love that, it's difficult to, to sell inside in a company in this stuff, what you do. Fantastic. Is that a swimming pool behind you, Petri, is it? Yes, yeah, it's a swimming pool. It's kind of small swimming pool, hot top. And it's now Very on. Nice. <laughs> do you use it in winter time as well? Of course. Hey, this is, this is Finland. This is Finland, and, and um, <laughs> you see different things in, in half an hour ago. Small bumpies walking here, and, and wolves living here, and in the Fiskas wow. village. And 
uh, is is um, I'm just saying that kind of it's very difficult to find this kind of company where it's so long history and you really found village where everything started. And, and, and that is amazing that you come in here, you learn so much every time you are here, how this company work in many, many years, what is the history, and et cetera, et cetera. And, and you pump in energy here as you come in here at the Fiscus Village. Uh, for me, it's interesting to observe uh, this kind of tension between this very strong local tradition and yep. uh, your, your power of innovation. Uh, I mean, the, 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 the pool, the whirlpool behind you is, is a very local one. Uh, yes. I could not imagine that this stands on my terrace or something. Yeah, yeah I know. You know? <laughs> yeah. But on the other hand, you produce uh, products that uh, everybody wants to have in his house. And uh, this, this must be a very tricky process. You know, on, on one side, you get your inspiration out of your your landscape out of, of your tradition and, and everything that you learn from your childhood. And on the other side, um, you, you have to turn over into an international person or into a national, international team that is, is, is very universal and, and has a, a spirit of a global world. This must be very uh, difficult to do sometimes. Of course it's difficult, but then... Um... But you need to see, I believe that is the best way that, um, that you need to see and learn and, and, and feel in that. And of course, people not coming here to Finland to say, I need this item, I need that item. You need to also to go to different places in different countries to understand history, understand culture. Uh, you go to in Korea, people do in totally different way uh, cutting chicken, what is in here in Finland. You go to in Germany, you go to Poland, you go to USA, people using different way breaks. Soil is different, branches is different, and et cetera, et cetera. But that, to say to honest that you need to go and understand the culture, how the people are using that, and, and, and take that knowledge back here, and, and okay. using that knowledge. And, 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 uh, but in the mentally, people is, me, people is same. It's not a matter of where you go in the whole world nowadays. Uh, you know that there are kind of more globalization and, and, and people buying different same stuff. But still, you need to understand that history, mentally how the people using items and taking that here and turning that in that way as it's coming something for you, what help your life better. But it's no, difficult. I'm, yeah. Peter, um, I think the... Obviously, the role of the red dot is significant in voicing the value of design as a strategy for companies as a, as a value of, of innovation as well. Um, and I just wonder, is, um, do you see a significant shift in the way companies deal with or talk about um, their in-house design teams as a support for their corporate strategy, as opposed to necessarily just the support for the brand strategy? Uh, you know, we, we are running our Red Dot Design Institute for Advanced Design Studies. And within this institute, we did some uh, surveys about um, advantages and disadvantages of in-house design teams or external design teams. And, and we figured out that um, it is uh, always very helpful for the creation of the, of the brand um, to, to work with your in-house design team. And then you can see that, that companies who deal with deeper values and, and you, who, who deal with uh, high technology uh, items and a lot of secrets, a lot of secrets, they need in-house design teams. They cannot share this kind of knowledge with, with other de designers uh, who probably work in a couple of years for the competitor. So I, I, I think uh, it's, it's a very good move for companies to install their in-house design teams um, because uh, the in-house design team is a part of the whole company culture then. And uh, as I mentioned before, there is this tension between tradition and innovation. So if uh, you have an external design team which is just looking for only innovation, this would bring a big 
controversial into the company and uh, would create a lot of trouble. So in-house designers who really uh, have the same DNA of, of the brand and the design are much better for many, many companies. Uh, of course, we know there are other concepts like uh, there are companies, for example, like the furniture company Vitra, who deal more like a design publisher. They work with different kind of external designers, um, uh, but uh, this is a different kind of approach. Mm. Um, in, in our case here, it is, I think, very important that you have this in-house uh, in design team with all this knowledge and uh, with the whole understanding of the combination of tradition and innovation. Yes. I mean, Peter, do you, I don't know if you have a comment on that, but do you, do you for example, use external? <coughs> yes, we're using. Pep up or bring you some yeah, this... unexpected impulses? Mentally, yes, uh, the, 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 the depends in a little bit process and, and what is in the table. Of course, using outside companies, uh, not only design, but engineers and different things. But where this is, is that kind of changing many times. But the executive, what Peter is saying, that, that, that kind of DNA is inside in that R&D, what is working to company. That, that function need to know everything, history, future, and know to need them in the market and people and users and, and factories, how they're using. But yes, in some cases use, using. Um, and it's not only that, that the fiscals not know really to how they're doing designs. But in some cases is that that culture is so totally different in, in, in Istanbul. Or, or, or in in the UK, you need to basically use an outside company who is basically living in that culture inside in that country to basically to understand what is the difference. And normally that that yeah. that, that is in that phase, this guy's using in in different design office or engineer office. Um, can you tell us a little bit about? The design process at Fiskars. I'm sure our viewers would be very interested to hear. That. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Happy to tell us. So like when you're starting a new product, like where does the brief come from? Do you have product managers that bring that to you and you get told what to do? Or are you developing concepts that you then take to the product managers? You know, how, how does it happen? Tell us a bit about the process. There's so many different versions how, how these different briefs coming. Of course, category manager or directors want different things uh, to see opportunity in here or different price points. Uh, but it's also the kind of same mentally what is that our fiscals work in 100 or 300 years. Um, many totally new ideas is coming here at the forest. Uh, many new ideas coming that you go to, to, to see the people, understand the users, how the people are using different things. Um, that whole team using different professionals in different segments. Uh, chefs, uh, gardeners, uh, who's helping a lot of to understand how they need to cut in and how they need to fry in a good steak. But um, but saying that many totally new ideas is coming is long path. It's not coming in a couple of years or not maybe. Some cases it's taking seven years that the whole idea is in, in, in market. And some cases it's taking in a couple or one year. But it's, it's, it's about, uh, of course, because uh, want to sell in items and, and doing money that because it's a stock company in, in, in many cases is, is, is straight but to try to find totally new totally new market segment totally new way you need to study that market to users many years and, and you need really to, to learn that how the process go it's not only that you take in a couple of red wines and doing nice catches is really really work at this is in, in, in the team is basically the same that uh, that red dot best to the best in the last year when this northern axe stupid idea uh, how how to fix in plastic and metal and wood together but whole mentally that whole field is coming here to forest and and to, to understand that process understand the feeling understand uh, methods and and understand feeling understand uh winter and summer and what that mean to axis etc that is that, that but i don't know possible to say and i don't want to say inside by the way but but you're saying can see changing 
<laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, Petri, how is the how was the response of the management when when you told them that you will be the design team of the year? Uh, has this an impact on on, on on your position in the company? Uh, will this probably make things easier, or you get better support, or 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 even uh, the management is as proud as yourself? Uh, so I, I, I tell you as a background, a story, you know, when we, when we gave the title design team of the year to Mercedes um, and uh, to, to Bruno Sacco and his team, it changed the company. You know, Bruno Sacco at that time, he was not allowed to give public talks on fairs and anything. So he was, he was not integrated in marketing uh, activities at all as the head of design. After mm -hmm. he was awarded with the Red Dot Design Team of the Year title, this changed completely. Uh, mm -hmm. The marketing people discovered his, his value for, as a designer for the company. And uh, from, from this day on, uh, they invited him for giving lectures on the fairgrounds and uh, you know, let him travel around to, yeah. to give the philosophy of design to, of Mercedes to the rest of the world. Uh, and and I, I remember Bruno Sacco said to me, Peter, you changed my life, you know, in, in the company. Uh, and I'm wondering uh, whether there is something like this or, or you have already a, a different kind of company culture regarding regarded to design. To say that, that um, of course, that the prize is sold, by the way, new. That, that boy, everybody talk about here in the team is that... that, that that 17 kilo silver is, by the way, here. Uh, <laughs> yes, I can same. see. Now I can see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very good coverage. Uh, this, this, my promise is going to sauna today. Uh, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, um, I don't... Um, I already said I work in different companies in the past and different companies in different level how to design insight integrator in, in the company and, and how much you need to sell in that your philosophy or, or ideas. Um, this guy is already manufacturing 250 years different products. Uh, not only scissors, but in the different metals and different things. Um, 10 years ago, I'm coming here in this company. In mentally, I not need to sell in what is the design uh, how to work and different things in that time. There's so much integrating in this company. Design and brand is basically matched to heaven. To say to honest that uh, brand and, and, and design part talk every day together. It's basically brand and, and design is this match and so near. Uh, and and, and uh, I need to believe what brand saying and brand listen to what the design saying is is very normal here. It's so inside in that whole DNA. Uh, of course, in the business numbers, it's different cases. You need to sell in business numbers, not mentally, that mentally design. Um, but in what your question, Peter, I don't know is going to change my life um, so much. I hope so not. <laughs> I don't mean uh, your private life. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I mean, I mean that this. Uh, I don't know how is how he's going to change change in in position or different things. Um, already coming to saying that that the past I run in whole R and D, and now I'm basically a little go to back because I want to go in back where I'm coming. Uh, I don't. I believe it's in, in some cases maybe it's coming bigger role. But, but um, design is not kind of only design. It's whole process and, and engineers, of course, is, is going to help in, um, in mentally, I believe, to do that the different companies believe you better. But inside the company, my work is I'm 100% sure the same what is today, what is to tomorrow. And, and um, that hierarchy in this company is very small. I mean that it's not even matter me or other ones who the team is allowed to, to, to talk to CEO and say, I don't like this and I don't like that. 
Uh, but but I understand in different companies this level is different, and and um, <clears throat> still I already work in in this area 22 years, and I I'm still a bit still sad, and in some cases some companies that design is somehow here lower end, uh, because that is one how you doing money nowadays also. Of course. And, and, uh, and I don't understand why different companies not using so much design yet, but maybe that is taking the next fifty years <laughs> that yeah. everybody understand that level. Yeah, and it's a management decision. So I, I guess that the management sure. will will celebrate together with you the award. Yeah, see the, some bottles of uh, of Finnish good vodka together, huh? <laughs> I I promise you know me, <laughs> <laughs> and 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 uh, ECS is the plan to doing good good party here. Uh, but um, let's see if this, everything in this situation going to open. Um, but um, I I to do how to say to honest in, in inside the company uh, people here that week ago first time uh, is amazing. What is the feedback? Uh, this is. Amazing! What is the feedback in whole Finland? Not in Fiskas. Uh, it's coming uh, so many message emails. Uh, I visit in uh, Saturday in, in in Helsinki in in in, uh, in one terrace, and and people coming uh, to say that super at Fiskas win that prize. I, mean, I don't know these people, but people want to buy beers Perfect. for me. <laughs> But this is exactly what we want, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the prize is not there just for itself. It, the prize should help people and uh, should give uh, some recognition to others and, yeah. and of course help you also business-wise. This is the most yeah. important thing. Uh, yeah. Design that doesn't sell is not good enough. Huh? Yes, yeah, so and it's ba basically it's exactly what I'm saying, that it's exactly that, but it's, it's, it's the, the saying that design is the fiscal design is gonna, uh, how to say, is design, and, and people see that this is fantastic or, or, or different things, but in, in your here, you got to think about this more unisex design. It's kind of the product, what is basically, it's not annoying you, it's not going to maybe into smile you every day, but it's help your life. And, and that is the fantastic that these products, what you buy, they start stay in your life maybe 60 or 100 years and 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 in many cases you don't know what is the fiscals but you know exactly scissors or inside scissors mm -hmm. and you know axis what's help your life to doing and smiling and, and doing better job that is the the mentally here in this company no, sorry perfect. do you find uh petri um that i mean is there an element i mean the company it's pretty staggering to be 300 year old company and do you find that sometimes you might get locked inside your own box, is it, where it's hard to push outside your own box because great success, you know, a billion pairs of scissors, great success could be a, a dampener to innovation. Is that something you find you have to play with or find a balance with? Um, say honest, no. Uh, you see this? Yes. What is here? And this? This is basically Fiskars collection garden clothes. Um, um, to say that, that uh, you found new areas, you now found new 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 places where you go, and 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 somebody who's who see that video. Put in the Fiskars in Google and put in image picture, you got to see how many different items Fiskars manufacturing 370 years. The graphite lights, micro ovens, uh, cups, uh, wood machines, this kind of huge tractors, uh, electricity devices, etc. etc. And, and that is amazing that, that, that Fiskars found every time in that culture and that time level or, or years where where the people want to go and 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 something to stay and something not going to stay but you you got to look in the people or you got to watch we people taking videos and and try to to understand 
you learn every time something new. And 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 I believe that this is is kind of best one that you learn and whole team learn. And of course, you need to look what is the history. And and I is basically I I use in one. Veikko Mäkipelto, who was working 42 years in this company, in R&D. And it's a fantastic that, that somebody doing something new ideas in a couple of years ago. And, and Veikko smiling, I mean, yeah, yeah. Wait a second, boys. And he's going to walk somewhere, and he's coming back. Yeah, I'm doing that 72 already. <laughs> 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 but, oh, come on. But there's so mm-hmm. much history and, and different things and, and it's, it you found and, and, and every time something new. I don't believe it that, um, of course, people changing. People mentally, people doing more food in home. Of course, in other places, people go to more in restaurant to eating. People want to do in home herbs, etc. Cetera, et cetera. World changing and, and, and you found every time spot uh, to found something new. Mm-hmm. Do you see much impact from our current situation or much change looking ahead? You mean this situation? Yes, the situation with regard to how people might view time at home or time in their garden or... I believe it's this, this day, day, what is now, this corona, people stay home. <laughs> and, yeah, but... and, and it's not basically, yes, and it's good, but people found every time that... Um, what the people need to, to use and buy, and, and and of course, restaurants and other ones. Uh, basically, people want to go more and outside to eat, but also people understand different tastes, and and people want to take in that taste and go to home and doing that sort that same taste, because many people is no money to go every every day to restaurant. And, and the, the, the interesting culture is that, or, or trend is that people want to do more outside the work, uh, to grow in your tomatoes or your flowers and, and, and to, to in more pure um, uh, herbs. And that is, of course, fantastic because it's, it's people taste better. I mean, everything what you do yourself in your garden, in Palakkani, is a different taste. And, and, and that is... I believe it's that is fantastic trend to go to back in that what it happened in 60 or 70 years ago. It was interesting in Germany during our lockdown that uh, all the garden centers and, and this kind of uh, shops where you could buy tools and, and yeah. uh, equipment for, for making your home nicer, they were open all the time. So you could buy there all the time the stuff and and people really loved it during this time to work in their gardens or on their terraces. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, they, they, they were doing something at home. And um, so th- you can see uh, out of this how valuable it is uh, to, to have this kind of, uh, of new lifestyle that even the politicians uh, accepted yeah. it, that, that you can buy tools and then yeah. you can buy all your gardening equipment. Yeah. And I, I believe that it's going to stay. And by the way, this kind of the almost the biggest urban garden places in in uh, in the whole world is in Berlin. In Berlin? Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, already many, many years, basically, people uh, buying this kind of own or renting these own boxes in the Berlin. Uh, different places and, and, and growing on tomatoes and herbs. And, <laughs> yes. and that, that, that trendy, uh, 100% sure it is, is going to grow more and more in the next 20 years. Right. What about, uh, what about new technologies, Petteri? Is that mm-hmm. something that, what about the new technologies? Is that something that's coming towards you in terms of, I don't know, metrics and in instruments or feedback or other ways of engaging, like sort of a digital view? Is that? relevant to you? Of course, it's everything relevant. Uh, and and uh, the, the relevant in that way. Of course, if you come in older, I'm already old, by the way, uh, it's the interesting to see in my life how my profile ago in last last 29 years or 27 years, um, that kind of younger, I, I, I love different technical stuff and, and I want different better TVs and different things. 
I'm coming older, I'm going to go more this way. I want the less apps in my phone <laughs> and less technical uh, devices because I want to learn and, and to, to relax in that I do in that. Uh, but in, in your questions that, that, of course, technical solution, I, I say no, that is not true. It's, of course, it's got to grow in. But what level and how to, how to use in that is, is, is other case. Uh, I, I mean, I don't really know yet how the people uh, want to buy different things. Of course, you see in the market different devices, how measuring your stakes or, or measuring your soil or different things. That is also open to me, but um, is that kind of um, what going to stay in, in long path? Now I may be saying brutal, maybe not. <laughs> <clears throat> because people want to go to back in this kind of learn and, and taste and feeling. And, and, and um, I know at the Peter, you love red wines. And it's similar yes. that, that, that the, in, you are youngster, you buy these cheaper red wines, and now you're coming older, you want this, that kind of way, that yes. super stuff. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> and, but I believe it's that you need tech lock, uh, you need different devices, but who is that buyer, user? That is a different case. Yes. Peter, yeah. if you had uh, a couple of questions, just uh, as we're drawing to a close here. Um, yeah. If a design team was uh, sitting in my place and asking the questions, what question would they ask you? In me? What yes. question? What question I... would the design team ask you? I don't know. I'm not, really. I'm not, trying, to, I'm not trying to be tricksy with that. I'm just wondering, yeah. you know, is, is there something that they, that, that, that they might be asking of you as a design leader in the team? Um, to uh, to look towards or look forward to what's coming next. To say that, that, that I'm so, I hope so that everybody team member got to look that and it got to laugh in what I say. Uh, I'm I feeling that I'm a little bit same level of what everybody. Uh, I do in catches every day. Uh, somebody hate that, that, that somebody sent me the picture and I doing catches back, but I tried to. My work is only to help the team to do it better, and 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 uh, and found new way to build in DNA and the same brand philosophy go in every cross product what is in in the fiscal portfolio. But some cases I don't understand what my team asked me, and many cases my team not understand what I say. <laughs> <laughs> um, as, a, as, a, as a further reflection, you know what what does it mean to you personally? I know Pete, we've talked about what it might mean for the company, but what what does it mean for you personally to win this award from the Red Dot? Um, of course, it's amazing. Uh, I. I remember that Peter called me and, uh, and I don't know if he's teasing me like four days and not telling me that the fiscals win that. But these four days or five days I wait in that phone call is is kind of <laughs> long for five days. Uh, or is amazing. Um, to, to say to honest that um, I don't know. I don't remember how many companies win this prize in last 28 years. 28 companies or something? Uh, no, less. Uh, no, 32. 32. 32. Saying that to go to to go in that same level, do you go to look at that list? Is Apple, Adidas, Audi, BMW, Ferrari? Uh, I don't know. Sony. Hey, it's kind of dream dream come true. Uh, I not ever ever think about this price coming because it's. Where is so big? Uh, to be honest, that um, of course I, I somehow my my 22 years tried to found how to win this, but I believe it's I believe it's Sami who is here. Not if ever, ever believe in it is coming here into Finland. The fiscals is amazing. I, I very difficult to say what is the motion, but it's big big thing. Not only me, but this only whole team and the Fiskas company, 
at some point recognizing that hey that that what Fiskas doing so many years look Sami is doing more good in in fire but that that is the honest uh, that is still the back in the business price is here but games still running need to find new new ideas <laughs> I, I I think uh, you are the 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 right leader uh, to achieve this award, and you you work very hard for it together with your team. But uh, you know the team without leadership cannot make it, and the opposite side, a leader without the team, can also not make it. So it's a perfect match, and uh, still I I like to congratulate you, and. Uh, you did a great job, and please continue like that in the future. I promise that is basically tomorrow is Tuesday in, in here. <laughs> still need to work and, and still need to do new catches and found new ideas. It's not going to ending. And yes. 100% sure that the Fiska stay in the next 370 years here, and somebody else basically leading. I don't know what Fiska is in that time, but I believe it's the same heretic here at the Fiskars Village and, and pumping that same history what I and the whole team pump in to, to found new, new stuff. Great. Oh, where's uh, Michael? Michael Maybe it is. Yeah. <laughs> I can disappear. Okay. Is, is, so, is Bettery, uh, again, thank you very much and I hope we will, we will make a big party next year. Yes. And you will yes. hand over the trophy to the next yes. incoming design team. Yes, and, uh, I wait I know, in that. Yeah, and I know you bring your team and then we have party until the early morning. Yes, yes. so the virus Super is birth. just an episode. It's a little part yes. in our life, but our life is much bigger and stronger and we that will survive. Yes. Yeah, thank you very much, Patrick. Thank you for you. It was thank a great you. talk and uh, give Let's my best regards to the whole company and to your team. Yeah? I do that. I promise Enjoy. that. Enjoy. Thanks. Thank you, Patrick. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.